is approaching four o'clock. Let's uh, check out the weather forecast. Quite a, a stormy weekend, a stormy couple of days, I should say, in store, Laura. Yes, you're right. It is looking very stormy this evening and the very windy conditions continue for many as we head through the rest of the week as well. At the moment, we're focusing our attention towards northwestern areas, courtesy of this big hook of cloud. It's associated with a low pressure. It's an occlusion. It's bringing with it the risk of some very heavy rain through this evening, snow and strong winds as well, particularly for western Scotland, northern Ireland, northwest England, gusts in excess of 70, maybe up to 80 miles an hour. So destructive winds combined with heavy rain for northern Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, North West England, accompanied by the risk of some significant snowfall across higher ground. So combining the strong winds and the heavy snow could cause some pretty tricky travel conditions this evening, especially on higher routes of motorways across Scotland. Through the night, we continue to see these bands of heavy showers sweeping eastwards with further significant snow over higher ground. And even further south, we're not out of the woods here. No, overnight, we continue to see bands of showers sweeping eastwards. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of sleet or snow developing across the Chilterns. Further north, it's a bright, breezy start to the day, a chilly one as well. Temperatures for many down to one or two degrees, so with the overnight showers, it could be a little bit icy first thing on Wednesday. We continue with this line of showers feeding through the central belt of Scotland. Again, further snowfall accumulating across higher ground. A bright, breezy start for the majority of Northern Ireland. Across Wales and southwest England, we continue to funnel our showers through the Bristol Channel, heading their way into Gloucestershire, and there's further showers waiting in the wings. I think for tomorrow, the picture not hugely dissimilar to today, fairly gusty winds, perhaps not as strong as today's, and further heavy showers. Again, the showers falling as sleet and snow across the hills of not much of Scotland. Into northern England, perhaps a little sleet and snow for higher ground. For Wales and southwest England, frequent showers through the afternoon, but probably not falling as snow, just of rain. As we head through to Thursday, perhaps a brief respite, a brief window of opportunity to chance to catch your breath because it'll be a good, there'll be a good deal of sunshine. The wind's lighter on Thursday, but behind me, our next weather system is queuing up in the Atlantic. This storm, we've been talking about it for a few days. There's a fair bit of uncertainty as to its exact track because it's being driven by some very strong winds at the moment and therefore the actual impact of the weather is still open to doubt. But later this week, there is a very low probability of some very severe weather affecting most likely southern areas of the UK. There's a nice explainer online from Chris Fawkes talking us through the uncertainty of the track of this low as we head towards the end of the week.